Dr. Gray, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, how are you today? Fine? Well, Thursday, today is Thursday, the 30th of July. It's a sunny, beautiful day, but it's very cold, yes? We are going to check pages 106, 106 107, 108, and 109, yes? Okay, so in the first activity, you have to do... Yes, tenemos que hacer frases sobre la picture. With which words, Aldana? Sandcastle, castle, fair, ice cream, and... Fun fair. Fun fair, ice cream, and snorkeling. Okay, can you make your sentences, please? Us is going to go snorkeling. Lottie isn't in the fun fair. Lottie isn't in the fun fair. Remember, fun fair. Repetition? Fun fair, yes. Next. A man is buying an ice cream. Yes. Next. That's all? Yes. Okay. And boy is sleeping. Ahí se ve también. Yes. Okay. So let's continue. Yes. Okay. This is yours. Okay. Exercise two. Yes. Okay. Look and match. Okay. First of all, we are going to repeat the words. Repeat at home. Uh, build a sand castle. Build a sand castle. Beach tower. Beach tower. Buy an ice cream. Buy an ice cream. Fishing nets. Fishing nets. Sand hat. Sand hat. Swimming trunks. Swimming trunks. Rock pool. Rock pool. Go surfing. Go surfing. Swimsuits. Swimsuits. Go snorkeling. Go snorkeling. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Buckets. Buckets. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, pay attention now. Yes. Good. Bueno, esto ya lo hicieron, ya pudieron unir cada uno, ¿no? Perfecto. Bueno, uh, color the words. Ahora sí, colorear la word. In red, clothes. In green, places. In blue, activities. And in yellow, things. ¿Ok? A ver, vamos. Clothes, red. ¿Cuáles son las clothes? Six, seven, and ten. Tienen que estar coloreadas de red. Place, los lugares, en green. Eight, rock pool. Yes, activities in blue. Two, build a sand castle. Four, buy an ice cream. Eleven, go snorkeling. Yes, okay. And las cosas, the things. Yellow. One, bucket. Three, beach towel. Pronunciame vos, Adana. Five, be, five. Twelve. Six, six. Twelve. Oh, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay. Well, page 107. Vamos a la 107. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Good. 107. The activity book. Okay. Put a tick if it is okay. A cross if it is wrong. Y corrijo para que me quede la respuesta correcta. Um, Good. After you read, otra vez con el texto, number two, fishing net. ¿Dónde quedó atrapado? En una fishing net, en la red para pescar. Three, help. I'm going to help you. Little dolphin. dolphin. B. Yes. El two es con la E, sí, porque después te dice unir, dale. Dos E. Three, help y dolphin son las palabras que teníamos que completar. Y unir con la picture B. ¿Está? Yes. Number four, scissors, buckets. ¿Y con qué letra unieron? What word? D. Yes. yes. Number five, well done, bow. Y con la letra A. Yes. Ok. Exercise two, match the sentences. Ok. Number A, perdón, 2A, 3E, ojo, no, uno con flecha, porque después a la hora de corregir, me imagino que nadie habrá hecho así, ¿no? De todos los años que venimos con la teacher Ruth. Uno con la letra al lado, porque si yo estoy con las dos, se me mezclan las, las R's, no encuentro nada, ¿ok? 2A. 
Pongo la letra, si es que no puse. 2A. 3E. 3E. Y a la hora de corregir es más fácil identificar también para encontrar. 4F. 4F. 5C. 6D. Hay que hacer el activity siempre a medida que va dando la ficha en las pages. ¿Por qué? A medida que voy dando las pages. Porque si vos dejaste, dejás esta tarea más la otra tarea, son muchas páginas. ¿Y qué te pasa? Vas a empezar a hacer todo mal, con cansancio. Entonces, hacer como está dosificado esto, si podríamos decirlo de alguna manera. 5C, 6D. Ok, bueno, las values, ¿qué valores pueden ser? Appreciate animals, ¿qué valores nos deja esta story? Uh, look after animals, cuidar los animales, try new things. Yes, take care of nature. Take care of nature. 108. Yes, look and write. Two. To go sailing. Three. Going to go snorkeling. Cuatro, Alana. I'm going to go climbing. Five. Marty and I are going to play tennis. Six. Is going to go fishing. Is going to go swimming or is going to go fishing or isn't going to go swim fishing. Isn't. Tiene una cruz. Isn't going to go fishing. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm three. I'm going. Yo voy a hacer la que voy a hacer en las vacaciones. Next week. I'm going to correct. Uh, I'm going to relax. And I'm going to walk. And I'm going to do exercises. You, Alana? I'm going to ride my bike. I'm not going to visit my cousins. I'm not going to visit my cousin. I'm not going to go shopping. Yes, okay. Good. 109. Yes? Okay, la última. Vamos, come on. ¿Cómo se llamaba el bus que el que tiene dos pisos. One decker o double decker? One decker o double decker bus? Double decker. Double decker bus, porque tiene dos decks y es para go sightseeing. ¿Qué quiere decir go sightseeing? Visit the different places of interest. ¿eh? Visitar los diferentes lugares de interés de los diferentes, de los diferentes lugares turísticos. In en este en en este bus, in this bus, you can go sightseeing. You pay for a ticket and you go sightseeing. Yes, okay. Number one, go camping. Alana, go. Go camping, go hiking, go hiking, go hiking, go sightseeing. Okay, go camping, go sightseeing. Take, take a bus, take. A bus tour, visit, visit a water park, visit a theme park, climb a mountain. Yes? Okay. Exercise three. Two. It's going... Alana, is he? When is he going to try the up his room? No, no hay que poner con when. Hay que poner is he. Va a limpiar. Si te dice bueno, well, sí, hay que poner en orden esa frase. Más. Is he? Is he going to tidy up his room? Yes, on Wednesday, yes he is. Number three, is, is he, he going to climb a mountain with his family? Is he going to climb a mountain with his family? No. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Number, uh, ¿qué va a hacer? What is he going to do? He's going to? He's going to fly a kite. No, climb a Climb a mountain, porque ahí tenés el schedule que dice él, ahí que es lo que va a hacer cada día. Dale, where, Aldana, is he? Cuatro. Where is he going to fly a kite? Answer. En Monday, está el Monday. On Monday. Yes, where is he going to fly a kite? Dice el lugar. Where? In the park. 
He's going to fly a part, a kite. Yes, in the park. Number five, Aldana, watch. What is he going to do on Friday? Mm -hmm. Friday, he's going? He's going to go out with his friend. Yes, he's going to go out with his friend. And he's going to? Kite turn. No, Friday, no te vayas a otro lugar. Watch. Watch my parents. Your parents come? His parents. Ah, he's going to wash his parents' uh, car and uh, go out with his friends. Acordate que él escribió ese diario de lo que va a hacer, pero vos tenés que cambiarle ese. Él va a hacer tal cosa, él va a hacer lo otro, ¿está? Good. Good. Uh, six, la última. Is he going to visit a theme park on Sunday? No, Casey. What is he going to do? He's going? He's going to go mountain biking with his friends. Okay. Is he going to visit a theme park on Sunday? No, he isn't. He's going to go mountain biking with his family. Is it clear? Right. ¿Estamos? Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Activity book for ahora. So let's go to the board, okay? Ahora no miren nada, no tengan nada sobre la mesa. We are going to go to the board, yes? Okay. Good, good, good. Concentration. Wait a minute. La teacher deja esto arreglado acá. Y ya vamos, okay. attention. Look at the board. Pam, 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 pam. There we are. Okay, look at the board, please. Look at the board. Yes, and Can you read the question? Voy a sacar un poco más porque hay mucha claridad. Ah. Bueno, por lo menos ahí. Ahí está mejorcito. Yes, okay. So the question is, what do you do on holidays? What do you do on holidays? Aldana, can you tell me what activities do you do on holidays? I'm going to... Sorry, what activities do you do? No, what are you going to do? What activities do you do? I play with friends, I go to the beach. I go to the beach with my friends mm -hmm. and family. Yes. I go to swim at the pool. Mm -hmm. I I or I? I visit my yes. cousins. Okay, so she visits her cousins. Uh, she goes to the beach. She swims at the pool. Yes, okay, and she travels, maybe. So these are different activities we do every day, every holidays, on holidays. For example, play video games with friends, go sightseeing, take a bus tour. Take a bus tour. Yes, that is a, this is a bus tour, this is a double-decker bus, yes. O es uno, bueno. Siempre tiene double decker también, ¿eh? Pero es, go on, a, take a bus tour, travel abroad. ¿Qué significa travel abroad? She's at the airport. Viajar donde? Al exterior, afuera de nuestro país. Por ejemplo, Chile, Uruguay, Brasil, Paraguay, Miami, the United States, yes, the United States, Spain, yes, Ireland, yes, the United Kingdom, yes, ¿ok? So pay attention now, visit a theme park, okay? Travel abroad, yes? I go sightseeing, okay? Is it clear? So let's repeat 
these holidays activities. This is for vocabulary. Entonces, para cuando te decíamos, cuando te preguntamos, what do you do on holidays? Ya no vas a decir, I play football, I play tennis. Vas a cambiar y vas a empezar a decir otra. I play video games with friends. Come on, repetition. I play video games with friends. I go sightseeing. I go sightseeing. ¿Qué es go sightseeing? Ir y visitar los diferentes puntos de interés, los lugares turísticos. Yes, ves a veces vas a un lugar y decís tenemos two hours to go sightseeing. Dos horas y brrr, te llevas un lado, you stop there, you go there, you visit the museum, you visit the church, you take photos, then you go. This is to is go sightseeing. Yes, travel abroad. Travel abroad. Take a bus tour. Take a bus tour. Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Go sightseeing. Go sightseeing. Travel abroad. And travel abroad. Visit a theme park. Visit a theme park. Okay. More uh, activities. Go hiking. Go hiking. Oh, go on hiking. I know hiking. 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 Go mountain biking. Go mountain biking. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go snorkeling, go, go fishing. Go ¿Se dieron cuenta que estas son las que van con go? Go hiking, go mountain biking, mountain biking, go surfing, go fishing, go snorkeling. ¿Es clear? Yes. De nuevo, vamos. Go hiking, go hiking, go mountain biking, go mountain biking, go surfing, go surfing, go surfing, go snorkeling, go fishing. Now, ahora sí cambio la pregunta. What are you going to do next holidays? Y vamos a practicar. Vos en casa tenés que ir haciendo una por una también. Inclusive te dejo estas pictures para que cuando vos estés en casa, pongas de nuevo y practiques sola. Pones en tu tele, por eso me corro, para no salir. Y vas diciendo. Dale, Lana. I'm going to. Ready, steady, go. I'm going to. Mira. Futuro, I'm going. Entonces ponemos el verbo to be, am, are, is. En este caso, am, porque va I. I am going to. Y ahora pongo el verbo go surfing. ¿Qué más? Go hiking. Go hiking. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go. En este caso estamos practicando todo lo que son ir de pesca, ir a nadar, ir a surfear. ¿Ok? Ready, steady, go. Dale, yo te marco, Alana. What are you going to do next holiday? I'm going to hiking. I'm going to go hiking. ¿Viste? Se olvidó de ella de algo. I'm going hiking. No. I'm going to. Voy a. Y ahí va el verbo. Por eso los puse abajo, porque es el verbo to be. Am, are, is, más going to, más el verbo en infinitivo. Ready, steady, go. What are you going to do? I am going to go hiking. Next, what are you going to do? I'm, I am going to go fishing. Next, what are you going to do? I am going to go mountain biking. Next, what are you going to do? I am going to go snorkeling. Good. Are you ready? Yes. Next. What are you going to do? I'm... Wait, 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 wait. Acá cambian los verbos, van a ser los verbos que están aquí. Por ejemplo, travel, go sightseeing, yes, visit. Yes, is it clear? Yes. Ready, steady, go. Vamos a hacer question and answer, una y una. What are you going to do? I'm going to play video games with my friends. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Muy bien. What are you going to do next holidays? Yes. What are you going to do next holidays? Dale. Alana, what are you going to Question. What are you going to do next I'm going to play video games. What are you going to do next holidays? I'm going to go, I'm going to travel abroad. Abroad. Question? What are you going to do next holiday? I'm going to visit a theme park. What are you going to do? I'm going to go sightseeing. Is it clear? Ready, steady, go. Vamos juntos. Question and answer. Todas juntas, dale. Ready, steady, go. 
What are you going to do next holiday? I'm going to play. Come on. I, again. I'm going to play video games with friends. Next. What are you going to do next holiday? I'm going to take a bus tour. Next. What are you going to do next holidays? I'm going to visit a park, a theme park. Next. What are you going to do next holidays? I'm going to go sightseeing. Qué bueno. Esto es lo bueno de este año porque vos tenés la posibilidad de ver muchas veces, once and again, this, uh, este es el año que tienen que estar súper, porque me llevas a tu casa. Yes, ok. Qué bueno. That's great. Ok. Bueno, tengo otra cosa que preparamos a full. The minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Pay attention now. Pay attention. Okay. Primer parte, las preguntas con red. A ver, me voy a poner de este lado. Eight. What? Vamos a preguntar. What are you going to do? Repetition. What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? Yes, okay. What are you going to do? What are you going, going to, to do? Next, ya sabes. Next holiday. Yes, puede ser next holiday. Next weekend. Yes, next weekend, lo que sea. Yes. Vamos a practicar primero con what. Se dan cuenta, yes, que acaba de ver de todo. Vamos a leer juntos. Go sightseeing. Go sightseeing. Paris. Paris. Next March. Next March. Your friends. Your friends. Visit a theme park. Visit a theme park. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Next December. Next December. Your uncle. Your uncle. Italy. Italy. Your sister. Your sister. Take a bus. Take a bus tour. Take a bus tour. Tour. Yes. And next weekend. Yes, is it clear? Yes. Good. When. Yo puedo preguntar, ¿qué vas a hacer cuando? A ver, díganme, when. When are you going to do? When are you going, going to, to do? Pa, 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 pa. ¿Cuándo vas a? Y ahí va a ir un verbo. When are you going to travel? When are you going to visit? ¿Cuándo vas a visitar? ¿Cuándo vas a correr? Lo que sea. ¿Ah? ¿Eh? ¿El do no va? ¿El do? Sí, sí, el do es presente simple. Mm. Acá estamos en presente, el futuro. Mm. ¿Yes? Ok. When are you going to... Where? Ahora vamos a preguntar dónde va a ir. ¿Cómo sería? Where? Where are you going... To, verbo, ¿dónde vas a ir? ¿Dónde, ¿A dónde vas a viajar? ¿Dónde vas a jugar? ¿Yes? ¿Está? Y el Q lo dejamos, ¿está? Ok, puede ser entonces, what are you going to do? When are you going to? Where are you going to go to? Ok, good, are you ready? Hasta aquí. Let's go there, Gabi. Go to the front. Despacio porque si no se rompen, eh? Okay. So, she is a group red. Yes. What's your name? Aldana. Okay. Question? I? I? What's your? What's your name? I'm teacher Ruth. Okay. Well. 
Más para acá porque si no tapa a los chicos. Ok. So, the questions are, what are you going to do? When are you going to do? Or where are you going to go? Ok. Atención, eh. Pay attention. Yes. Because you say, for example, voy a hacer un ejemplo. What are, pregúntame, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to go sightseeing. Question for you. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Um, where are you going to go? Where? Where? Dun, 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 dun. Um, next month. Quack, quack. Ah, when. Sí, estaba bien. Tiene razón, Ada. When are you going? No, pero yo te pregunté, where are you going to go? Quack, 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 quack. De nuevo, vamos de nuevo. Dale, ok. Question for me. Um, para atrás porque si no está. What are you going to Primero pronuncio bien. What are you going to do? When are you going to mm, 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 o where? Porque si no no se entiende. Dale, come on. Um, what are you going to When? Uh -huh. Take a booster. Ah, uh, when? Repetition. When are you going to take a booster? Next December. Okay. When are you going to go um, sightseeing? Next weekend. Well done. Come on, quickly, quickly. Another question. Another um, question. What are you going to do next weekend? Uh, I'm going to take a bus tour. Yes. Where are you going to go next weekend? Where are you going to go next weekend? Where? Um, where, 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 where? where? Where are you going to go next weekend? Pam, 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 pam. Where? Um, to Paris. To Paris, yes. But tenés que contestar, I'm going to go to Paris. Porque la idea es, I'm going to visit, I'm going to go. Dale. Okay. Uh, question. What are you going to do next week? I'm going to visit a theme park. Uh, when are you going to take a bus tour? When? Tell me when, when, when. <laughs> Come on. When? When are I'm you going? going to take a bus tour? Um, dun, 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 dun. When, 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 when? Next weekend. Yes, okay. Where are you going to go? Ah, no, your, your turn. Come on, your turn. What are you going to go next year? Where? What are you going to do next year? Ah. Next year, I'm going to... To, 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 to go sightseeing. Ojo que en el próximo va a haber más. Y cuando vengan ustedes vamos a jugar todos. ¿eh? Ahora competition. Ahora hacemos la competencia. Yo digo una cosa y la que encuentra primero la respuesta, the answer, I will say the question, is the winner. Vamos anotando los puntos. Ok. Una y una. One you, one question you, one question me. Okay. What are you going to do next Monday? Go sightseeing. One point for the no. teacher. Yes. <laughs> rule, teacher rule. Uh, Aldana. Okay. Good. One point for me, zero for Aldana. Okay. Your question, Aldana, please. Come on, Aldana. Come on. Um, where are you going to visit the theme park? Repetition? Where are you going to... When? Yes. Where are you going to visit the theme park? Come on. Next December. Two points for the teacher room. Oh, no. Okay. Come I'm on. Come on. Uh, where are you going to go next summer holiday? Ready, steady, go. Where are you going to go next summer holidays? When I sign it. Yes. One point for Aldana. Okay. Your question, come on. Um, what are you going to visit a theme park? Ready, steady, go. Next oh, two points for Aldana. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. What are you going to do next summer holidays? Ready, steady, go. I visit, I'm, I'm going, going to visit a theme park. Okay, si está mal la respuesta, ta ta ta. Okay, when, uh, no, your question. Um, Ah, no. Ready, steady, go. Ah. One point for me. 
¿ok? ¿Qué estamos, what are we practicing? ¿Qué estamos practicando acá? What are you going to do? When are you going to go to visit to drink mate? And where are you going to? ¿Y dónde vas a hacer? ¿Ok? Dale, one more. El desempate y chao. Question for you. Dale. Um, when are you going to take a bus, sir? Great. I know it. <laughs> yes, come on. Dale. Another question. Um, what are you going to do next weekend? Great. Steady, go. Visit the theme park. All right. Na, 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 na. I'm going to... To visit a theme park. Yes, okay, thank you, Aldana. Bye bye. Okay, is it clear? So the winner is Aldana. Yes, okay. ¿Para qué te sirve este cuadro? Para que vos practiques todas estas questions, así como hicimos nosotras. Y por último, voy a preguntar esta: Who is going to, who is going to visit a theme park? Who is going to visit a theme park? Your uncle. Yes, ¿quién va a visitar? Who is going to um, go sightseeing? Yes, who is going to go sightseeing? Your friends. Your friends. Yes, okay. Uh, who is going to take a bus tour? Your sister. Sí, porque estoy preguntando, ¿quién va a hacer? Un sujeto. ¿Es clear? Well, thank you very much. Okay, so let's go to the book now. Es muy importante este cuadro, ¿eh? Súper, de contra, importante. Tante. Ok. Well done. So let's go to the pages para practicar las. What are you going to do? Yes, te hago tres preguntas. What are you going to do next holiday? Pay attention, Alana. What are you going to do next holidays? I'm going to take a bus tour. Alana, what are you going to do next holidays? I'm going to visit New York. New York, ok. When are you going to visit New York? I'm going to um, go on a tour next uh, January. And you? When are you going to go? When are you going to go to New York? Um, I'm going to go to New York um, next Sunday. Okay. And where are you going to go? Ya preguntamos. Well, where are you going to go on a bus tour? Tour. I'm going to go to. Paris. I'm going to go sightseeing in Paris. Ok? Good. Pages. Hacemos las pages y ya descansan por hoy. Yes. Is it clear? Última unidad. Eh? Ya no va a haber más temas. A partir de aquí, este es el último tema futuro y después todo lo que venga va a ser esquematización general, que ustedes ya saben cómo nos organizamos este año. Bueno, hasta que no volvamos, ya va la teacher. Eh, tiene organizado cómo vamos a hacer, ¿sí? Siempre para que vos te sientas bien y para que vos aprendas lo mejor posible, ¿ok? Bueno, well, 118, 119, 120, 121, I mean, unit 9 from the class book. ¿Es clear? ¿Ok? 118, 119, 120 and 21. Ready? Okay, good. What do you do in your summer holidays? Siempre nosotros, ¿qué hacemos? Presentamos el tema. Entonces, los temas que queremos revisar, los temas nuevos. En este caso, ¿qué dice la pregunta? What do you do in, in your summer holidays? ¿Qué haces? Y lo que primero repasamos hoy fue en presente simple, ¿qué haces en las vacaciones? I go sightseeing, I visit a theme park, I go on a tour, I, I um, go abroad, I travel abroad, yes, I go hiking, I go fishing. Y después enganchamos eso con ¿qué vas a hacer? Una cosa es ¿qué haces? Como rutina, todas las vacaciones. Y después ¿qué vas a hacer? That is the future. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? When are you going to? Entonces te tiene que quedar claro que ¿qué haces? ¿Cuándo haces y dónde haces eso? ¿Está? Vas a hacer eso, ¿ok? ¿Dónde vas a ir? ¿A dónde vas a ir? Etcétera, ¿ok? 118, 119, vamos a escuchar esta actividad. ¿Está? ¿Yes? ¿Ready? Good. ¿Ready or not? Yes, ready. Ready? 
weight. Unit 9, recording 10. Listen and read. Prepare your Land lights, of the Midnight Sun. We asked Alexi, a 10-year-old student. Okay, so we have, the first thing that we have there is the different holiday and vacation. Holiday, los dos son vacaciones, pero in British English, en inglés británico, decimos holiday. And in American English, yes, you say vacation. Yes? Okay, is it clear? Yes. Good. Marque loco en el highlighter, please. Highlight with the highlighter. Land of the Midnight Sun. We asked Alexi, a 10-year-old student from Finland, all about his summer holiday. What do you do on holiday? Okay, so um, they asked a girl, what does she do on holiday? What, she, what can she do? Yes, at the lake. And thus she stay at the lake all day? Yes, these are the questions about holidays. Es una entrevista. Day. We go to our summer cottage by the lake. Ah. We love being outside in the summer. When I went, <coughs> sorry, on a honeymoon, on my honeymoon, I got married, I had a wedding ring, I had a wedding party, and I got married with my groom. Yes, okay. What is Yes. Se refieren a que el, el sol desaparece a medianoche? Yes, the land, yes, no. La tierra de el sol de media noche. Yes. A eso se refiere, ese es el título, digamos. Ok, bueno, te estaba contando. I, go, I have a wedding ring, que no la tengo puesta ahora. Ok, I had a wedding ring, I had a wedding dress, I had a groom, David was my groom, yes. We got married and we went on a honeymoon. ¿Saben lo que es una honeymoon? Luna de miel. Luna de miel, to Bariloche. And we had a cottage near... The Nahuel Huapi Lake. What is a cottage? What is a cottage? Márquenla, por favor, está en el texto 1. Cottage, en la segunda línea. Es una... Look, look at the photo. Cabaña. Cabaña. I was, David and I, were on a cottage near the lake. Very romantic. Ok, this is a cottage. Una cabaña by the lake. Ah, it was very relaxing. Well, because the winter is so long in Finland, in June and July, the sun never goes down. Ok. Esto es Finlandia, ¿no? ¿Entendieron esa parte que dice The winter is very long. ¿Qué significa? El invierno es qué? Muy largo. Muy largo. Muy largo. Because the winter is so long in Finland. In June and in July, the sun never goes down. ¿Entienden lo que dice? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? The sun never goes down. No baja. No, nunca se esconde el sun. ¿Sabían eso? No. Yo creo que sí, ¿no? Algunos sí, seguramente. Yes? Um, we call it the land of the midnight sun. No, por eso se llama la tierra del sol de media noche. ¿Y duermen? ¿Cómo duermen? Encierran todo con blackout. Mm -hmm. Yes, ok, porque acordate que el brain necesita estar en oscuridad, con darkness, para dormir, porque si no se crean otras cosas en el cerebro, ¿sí? Que no te dejan que, que el sueño se produzca, digamos. Entonces es muy importante eh, que esté todo con las luces apagaditas. Yes, ok, por eso dormimos ya, porque en el pasado, sí, cómo dormía la gente en las cavernas con oscuridad. Nada de tablets, ni televisión, ni de nada, porque eso hace que tengamos insomnio. Insomnio, insomnio in Seattle. Yes, there is a, a very nice film. Hay un film muy romántico que se llama Chipatis Ya no me detengo, ok. Entonces, qué interesante esto, eh, ok. 
We call it the land of the midnight sun. But what can you do at the lake? So let's uh, listen about the activities you can do near the lake. Lots of things. We can go swimming in the lake or go hiking and fishing. Okay, what activities? Swimming? What else? Contestame en casa. Go hiking go and... Hiking and um, go fishing. Yes, en el texto, no en mi cara. My mum and dad use the sauna. Wow. Do you have a sauna at home? Yeah, from sauna. Yeah. The sauna is very good for the skin, yes, but it's very hot. In this summer. summer, we're going to go mountain biking. So what are they going to do this summer? What? They are going to? Mountain biking. They are going to? They are going to? Mountain biking. They are going to go mountain biking. They are going to go. Se comió el verbo. No son comestibles estos verbos, eh? I'm very excited about that. Do you stay at the lake all day? Mostly, yes. But sometimes we go on day trips. This summer, we're going to visit a theme park and a festival. It's going to be the best. So, this summer, they are going to what? Um, visit? Visit a theme park and a festival. And a festival, yes, okay. Vamos a ver el fun fact. A ver qué nos informa. Fun fact. Did you know that in the winter in Finland, it's dark for nearly 24 hours a day? Yes, ¿sabía? No. Yes, okay. Es, uh, se pone oscuro por casi 24 horas al día. Yes, okay. No, sí, bueno, pero acá te dicen summer, ta, 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 so long, in, in June and July, sun never goes down, yes, sun never goes down, yes, we call it the land of the midnight sun, pero después, did you know that in winter, yes, esto es, we love being outside in summer, yes, esto es en summer, invierno. pero ella te explica ahora que en winter, en invierno, It's dark for nearly 24 hours a day. Wow. O sea, imagínense cómo salen en el verano. Yes, okay. Is it clear? They need the sun. Necesitan el sol después. Yes, okay. Por eso dice, we go to our summer cottage by the lake. We love being outside in the summer because the winter. ¿Por qué? Porque el winter es muy largo. Yes, in June and July, the sun never goes down. Y acuérdense que julio, junio y julio, ahora, yes, for example, in Europe, in Spain, yes, is summer. Y acá estamos en winter. Yes, okay. Well, ya nos informamos mucho. Yes, okay. Um, shall we go to uh, one, look at the pictures, which are beach activities. What are some beach activities de todas las que hay ahí? And pool activities. Me van diciendo, por favor. Swimming. Yes. Snorkeling. Mm -hmm. Pero decime, beach activities. And. Um, Dale, decime, beach activities. What number? Number? Snorkeling. Yes, what number? Number? Two. Beach activities. One. Beach. No, no te puedes tirar de un trampolín. Oh. Yes. Two, snorkeling. Yes. And um, surfing. Yes, okay. And swimming pool activities? One. One. Four. Four, yes. And two también, because you can swim at the beach. Yes. Yes, okay, and at the pool. Ese, ese está buceando. Snorkeling. Well, snorkeling, but you can do snorkeling in a swimming pool and yes. in the sea. Yes, okay. So let's go to page 120 and 121. Yes. Okay, look at the title. Can you read the statement, Aldana? Look at the title and the picture. My name is Lourdes. I am... No, Dale. Look at the, 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 the statement, la consigna. Oh, listen, Arlis. Where are you right? Yes, but look at the title and the picture. Look at the title and the picture. What do you think this next is about? 
What do you think this text is about? Message, message in the bottle. Yes, okay. Well, um, this is a very famous saying. Sting. Yes, okay. Well, listen and read. Where you write? What what this is this text about? Acerca de qué es? About a message in, uh, of a, a man for a girl? For a, for a, for a ten year old girl. Uh, this is about... Pero no leíste vos, ¿no? No, no hagas, don't cheat, no hagas trampa. Yes, it's a message that um, a man wrote for a woman. It's a message that uh, that a girl wrote for Santa Claus. What do you think? Primero, ¿qué pensamos? Que Santa Claus. A message for Santa. Yes. But in the bottle. Yes. Message in the bottle. Yes, okay. Well, can you read, Aldana? My name is Nervi. I am two years old. I would like to... Ah, no, we are going to listen because I have the listening for here. I'm sorry, darling. Yes? Listen and follow. Unit 9. Recording 16. Vamos a ver si estamos... Listen were you right and read. Wrong? Yes? Were you right? Message in a bottle. My name is Nergis. I am 10 years old. I live in a small village in Turkey. I'm going to tell you a story about a message in a bottle. I walk my dog Aslan on the beach every day. One day, Aslan found a very old bottle on the beach. There was a message. So, up to now, who found the message in a bottle? I mean, uh, a boy. Sorry? A boy. A boy? No. A dog. A dog, yes, okay. Aslan found a very old bottle on the beach. Bitch in the bottle. If you get this message, please write to me. My name is Barrett Yilmaz. I'm 11 years old. I live at 15 Demir Street in Antalya, Turkey. Okay, well, so, lo que está en azul, is, that was the message in the bottle cell. If you get the message, si te llega este mensaje, please write to me. My name is blah, blah, blah. I'm years old. Uh, I live at blah, blah, blah. And you have the direction, the address. A ver, what was this uh, message about? I went home and wrote a letter to Berat. But I didn't get a letter back. Weeks went past. So, she wrote the letter but listen 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 did she get an answer or no no, no. what happened Let's okay. i was on the beach with aslan well no spoilers let's get a letter back weeks went past i was on the beach with aslan when i saw an old man at her house talking to my mom okay so she was playing on the beach and she saw a man talking to her man. Who was that man? They started walking towards me. And the man walked towards the girl. Yes? Hello, Nergis, said the man. I'm Berat. Sixty years ago, I wrote the message in my bottle. Oh my God. The man was sixty years old. And he wrote the message, but 60 years ago. David Max, give it to Ben. Okay, oh my god, I wrote the message in that bottle. No, no sabemos si son 60 años, hasta porque no va a escribir cuando nace. Yes, okay, but he, is, he, he was 60, tenía 60, and he wrote the message. Vamos a ver a ver si nos cuenta qué edad lo escribió. I'm happy that you found it at last. Berat is my friend now. My family and I are going to visit him in Antalya for holidays. We're going to walk on the beach together. Well, saquen la cuenta. Tenía 11 años cuando escribió. ahora tendría 80. Well, saquen la cuenta. Quack, quack, zzz, 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 mathematics. Okay. Well, so, qué linda historia. What a nice... Uh, I would like to uh, write a message in the bottom. Yes. Yeah, voy a tratar de escribir. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, number one. Yes, number one. Okay. Uh, Nergis village is in Turkey, in Turkey. Aslan found an. ¿Qué encontró el perro? What did he find? A necessary bottle. Yes, an old bottle. Yes, complete, yes. please. Complete, please. An old bottle. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, okay. Aslan found a me an old bottle. Encontró una botella vieja. The bottle had what? A. A me. A message, yes. The bottle had a message in it. Nurgis didn't get, ¿qué cosa? A letter, yes, from Berat, porque en realidad no le contestó. Yes, okay. Nurgis didn't get a letter from Berat, but Nurgis and her family are going to visit Berat. Yes, lo van a visitar, porque en realidad se presentó. Le dio tanta emoción, yes, okay. Good, and he met the family and everything. Yes, okay. What a nice story. Shall we go to 121? Y ya terminamos. Listen and complete. La última actividad de listening. Y voy a explicar la postcard. Y ya están libres. Okay, good. Where the mountains? Visit Jenny's? Mm -mm. Sally? What mountains activities? Mountains activities? Hiking and? Tenemos que completar. What other activities? Visit a and blah, blah, blah. ¿Está claro? Ready? Okay. A pencil, please. Unit 9. Recording 17. Listen and complete. Hi, Jenny. It's nearly time for school holidays. I know. I'm really excited. What are you going to do? We're going to go to the mountains. We're going to visit my big sister, Sally. My... Big sister, Sally, yes, big sister. She lives there. What are you going to do there? Pay attention. We're going to go hiking a lot. We're going to go mountain biking. What? Mountain biking. Mountain biking, yes, okay. Two. Wow, I'd like to go mountain biking. What else are you going to do? There's a great theme park nearby. So we're going to go there for the day. There's also a good water park. I love swimming and playing in water. Sounds great. Okay, so she's going to visit a theme park and a water park. And, a water park, and that's all. Okay, well, the tarea, yes, tenemos las pages. Pages, pages, pages. 110, 112, exercises 1, 2, and 3. 113, exercise 1. Voy a explicar la tarea primero. Y escribir una postal, yes, write a postcard, en formato PDF, 40 palabras, 40 words, y ya te voy a decir de qué. Read the postcard and take what kind of holidays are, bla, bla, bla. Leemos, por favor, a Dana, can you read? Exercise 6. ¿Qué yes. clase de postales? Yes. ¿Qué clase de holidays esta chica se toma? A ver. Dear Sarah, how are you? I hope you're well. In a loud voice, please. The winter is very sunny here. I go to the beach every day and swim. I'm very excited because tomorrow we're going to visit Mexico, Me Mexico City. See you soon. Love from Adam. Okay, wait a minute. Good. So what kind of holidays it is? A city holiday, a mountain holiday, or a beach holiday? A beach holiday. A beach holiday, pongo un tick. Yes. Ok, look. Y por favor, subrayamos ese look que hay abajo, ese tip que hay abajo. ¿Qué dice? Look at the star. Fíjate el comienzo de la postal. Querido. Dear, querido. And finish. ¿Cómo terminamos? Tiene que tener un dear, dear fulano, Love coma, y una despedida. Love, kisses. Fulanita de tal. ¿Yes? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vas a escribir vos? Esta va a ser la tarea. A postcard. Who are you going to write to? ¿A quién escribís? What's the weather like? ¿Cómo está el tiempo en ese lugar? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? What are you going to do tomorrow? ¿Yes? Dear 
Marco, por favor, ¿cómo vamos a hacer? The weather is yesterday I, tomorrow I'm going to see you soon, la pa, pa, pa. Yes, y voy a mostrar un ejemplo de postcard para que lo puedas hacer súper mega archi de contra. Ok, wait a minute. class is about to finish. Be patient. Yes. Good, good, good. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Here we are. Pam, pam. Bueno, te muestro una postal de verdadera. Yes. This is a postcard, generalmente al principio, que tiene un dibujo del lugar. En este caso, de Inglaterra. London, the Buckingham Palace here. Aquí lleva, ¿qué cosa? La stamp, la estampilla. Ruth and David, yes, o Dear Ruth and David, yes, claro, yes. Y empezamos, thank you for the hospitality, bla, 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 bla. Love and best wishes, Terry and Maria. Yes, ok. ¿Y a quién va dirigido? Dirigido, yes, to bla, 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 bla. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Y ahora te muestro otra. Yes. I love postcards. Yo yeah. amo las postales. Yes, ok. Good. So pay attention now. Mirate esta que preparamos. Yes. Hola, teacher. Quiero que me escriban una mega, súper, re linda postal, ¿eh? Ustedes se imaginan a dónde están. Yes. Pam, 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 pam. Well. Dear Jack. Acerco más. Dear Jack, coma. Dear Jack, coma, how are you? I hope you are well. The weather is very snowy here. Yo lo que quiero es lo siguiente. Que me uses? Presente simple con lo que haces. Presente, eh, perdón. Uh, past con lo que hiciste. Y in future futuro. con lo que vas a hacer. En esta, una frase, una frase, una frase. The weather is very snowy here. Every day I go skiing and I climb mountains three times a week. I am very excited because, well, it's three, three times a week. Eso ya puse lo que dice every day. Yesterday I went shopping and I went sightseeing. I ate at a famous restaurant. Y ya usaste el pasado. Y le contaste a esa persona a la que le mandaste esa postcard, ¿qué haces? Que hiciste, and then, I am very excited, estoy muy excitado, because tomorrow we are going to climb the Mount Everest. Oh, Dios, van a escalar el Monte Everest. Despedida, right soon, escribe pronto, love, fulanita de tal. Yes, is it clear? Espero una postal divina. Acá, ¿a dónde está? No se ve muy bien, pero acá está... Sí, casi no se ve. Acá está la postal. Sí, la postal. Sí. Yes. ¿A quién va dirigido? ¿A dónde? ¿Es clear? Yes. Ok. Acordate siempre, si vos me querés mandar Ruth Gómez, mi dirección es 289. Primero va el número. Arenales Street, Formosa, Formosa, Argentina. 
y el código postal 3600. ¿Está? ¿Yes? Si me, si me envían a mí. ¿Yes? Pero acá está enviada, le envió al amigo Jack. ¿Yes? Puso la dirección. Está en Londres, en el Reino Unido. ¿Está? ¿Ok? Yo explico homework. ¿Yes? Good. Qué buena la clase de hoy, ¿eh? Did you like it? Hicimos muchas cosas hoy. Bueno, 110, 110, 110. Complete the chart. Actividades que se hacen en el lake. Donde te puedes que quedar. Y day trips. Summer in Finland. ¿Yes? Ok. Siempre volvés a mirar el texto y después hacer las actividades. ¿eh? Read and answer. What, what does... Aleski go to the cottage by the lake. When does? ¿Cuándo? He goes. No te olvides la S porque estamos en present simple acá. When does the sun go down? The sun goes down in. What does he usually do? He plays, he rides, he swings. What is Alec? Acá ya cambia porque es en futuro. He's going to. Where is he going to go? He's going to go. Pa, pa, pa. Bueno, después eh, completar el diálogo, el ejercicio 2, de la página 111, no, 112, perdón, 112, after you read, vuelvo a leer otra vez, corrijo los errores, porque esto es sobre, por favor, no lo saltes, porque acá cuando te manda leer en el classbook es porque queremos practicar reading skill, la comprensión lectora, ¿está? Correct the mistakes. ¿Sí? Y watch the message. Mira qué lindo esto. Tienes que descubrir el message. Look. Discover the message. Yes. Ok. 113. Solo el ejercicio 1. Dear. Ta, 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 porque esto es lo que vamos a escribir. Así que tenés un ejemplo de una postcard. Y el que consigue una postal real que tenga por ahí sin usar, puede escribirla. ¿Está? Yes. Ok. Me vas a mandar al Classroom PDF. Ok. Bye, bye. Happy weekend. Bye. Mua. See you next class. Bye-bye, third grade. Happy weekend.